Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the fancy match preview for the game between Gujarat and Hyderabad. Before the preview, keep in mind that you join the giveaway contest and this contest will get you a lot of free prizes. Along with that, remember to join the Grand League because this Grand League leaderboard takes you all the way to Australia. Yes, that is the top three prizes for every phase. So go join with 25 teams now, win the Grand League. Along with that, go to Australia and lots of other cash prizes only for you. So first up, we'll discuss the keepers and the batters. Our keepers are only two choices here, Puran and Saha. And I'm going with Puran for now based on form clearly. Obviously, both of them do have their threats. Saha has not really looked in the flow, while on the other hand, Puran will have to face up to Rashid. So both are kind of even picks. For now, I'm going with Puran. Maybe based on the toss, we change that. Apart from that, the batter, Shubman Gill, very obvious choice. Again, he has had a few slow games in the last few. But uh, like I mentioned, not too many other batting options and he's obviously a class batter, so no doubt about him. Second pick would be Kane Williamson. Now, Kane Williamson has looked in good form in the last few games. Apart from that, he's a good small league captain or vice captain. I Like you know, I like taking a few risks, so I'm not going with him as captain or vice captain. But if you'd like to go safe, he's one of the best choices. Third pick would be Rahul Tripathi. This man has looked an exclusive touch, especially while chasing, brought out his whole repertoire of shots. So, I think he's too good a batter and again, maybe in small leagues, but surely in grand leagues, I'll be trying him as captain or vice captain. And the last pick would be David Miller. Now, David Miller, obviously, I, I don't really see any off spin yet unless Sundar plays for Sunrisers. And apart from that, only I only see the spin option in the form of Suchit, which he might be able to counter quite well. So that's why I'm going with David Miller for now. But obviously, if Sundar plays, then we might change that option. And now we get to the all-rounders and the bowlers for this game. I think you have a uh, beauty of riches in this whole section. For now, I'm going with Hardik Pandya as my sole all-rounder. And he's obviously going to be my captain for this game. He didn't really bowl in the last game. But I'm expecting him to come back and bowl soon too. And apart from that, his batting form in itself is too exclusive for him not to be our captain. Apart from that, the five bowlers, first the three from Gujarat, Rashid, the ex, the ex man like you all know him. He's played for Sunrisers before, again will be wanting to prove a point and yes, therefore he's also my vice captain for this game. And yes, we've also seen that in this Mumbai Wankhede pitch, it has been sticking in a little bit at times, so that can play in his favour along with the fact that he's going to finish the innings. Apart from that, Loki and Shami. Now, I think Shami can be a good captaincy or vice captaincy choice, especially if the pitch is fresh. But obviously, that's a very subjective call. And apart from that, Loki, if he's bowling second, then he becomes that choice. And then the other two bowlers, Bhuvneshwar Kumar, who seem to have found his line and length back pretty well and he's bowling quite well. And again, if he bowls first, he's a good captaincy or vice captaincy choice. And the last pick, T. Natarajan. You know, I've been making him captain and vice captain in quite a few small league games. And he'll probably be in that fray again in the small leagues in case he bowls first. So finally, this is what the team comes down to. We have one keeper, four batsmen, one all-rounder and five bowlers. Apart from that, I have left out someone like Marco Janssen who got a lot of wickets in the last game. But looking at the last few games at Wankhede, I didn't really see too much of movement up front. But based on the pitch, you should take that call. Now we have the matchup section. From this section, you're going to drop and pick your GL players. The first matchup is Puran, who has been dismissed twice by Rashid. That strike rate is way below 80, which means that there is some domination from Rashid's end there. And if the pitch is actually sticky as it has been in the last few games, then yes, that threat is only going to increase. The second one for me in this game is quite important. It's Shami versus Williamson. But yes, if there's no help from the pitch up front, then he's probably going to neutralize him totally. So yeah, maybe it's the battle for Williamson to win because that strike rate is pretty decent at 130-140. But yes, if you see that there is movement up front, then it can go the other way too. And the third matchup would be Gil, who's been dismissed twice by Bovi. And again, that strike rate is below 100. Like we had mentioned that this would that would happen the last time and he did get dismissed. But again, this is totally a pitch-based call. And like I mentioned, there are not too many batting options to you for to choose from. So, it totally depends on how the conditions are and how the toss goes and then you can take a balance call based on that. And now you have the challenge picks where you can make your team with just two, three or four players. I'm going with two in this game. Hardik Pandya, very obvious choice like you all know why with his all-round value. And the second one is a surprise, it's Natarajan if he bowls first. 
but yeah if williamson the williamson is another good option but it totally depends on the toss like if you see if sunrisers are batting first and maybe williamson also becomes quite a decent pick so you two go make your picks now and join us on the telegram channel for the final team and updates